Hi Big Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a soybean field located in southwest Wisconsin, where a 240 engine horsepower, 204 bushel capacity, John Deere side hill 9510 maximizer combine is harvesting the crop with a 22 foot wide John Deere 922 grain table. This specialized combine was built to harvest grain crops on farmland with rolling terrain. In this video, I would like to share with you the combine's production history, specifications, and original price tag. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear all this harvesting action. John Deere's 10 Series Maximizer Combines were manufactured at the company's Harvester Works located in East Moline, Illinois from model year 1998 through 2000. This series included four models, the 190 engine horsepower, 182 bushel, 9410. The 9510 came standard with a rating of 220 engine horsepower and could be upgraded to an optional 240 horsepower rating. The top end machine in this lineup was the 9610 rated at 275 engine horsepower and offering a 240 bushel grain bin capacity. The side hill 9510 combine was manufactured during the same time period as the other 10 series maximizer machines. The side hill 9510 and the standard 9510 maximizer combines have almost identical specifications. The key difference between the two machines is that the specialized 9510 oscillates the combine's body up to 18%, giving it a few important advantages during harvest. The 18% oscillation on the 9510 side hill allows the combine to remain level. Crop flows through uniformly into the threshing, cleaning, and separating systems. It also allows the combine to maximize its grain tank capacity. By the combine staying level on rolling ground, it doesn't 
let the grain slide from one side or to the other and also eliminates spillage. The operator also enjoys comfort in the cab, which allows less fatigue and better concentration on the harvesting process. The oscillating combine body is the key difference between the Side Hill 9510 and the standard 9510. The only other difference in the machine specifications is the horsepower rating. Both combines are powered by a John Deere 8.1 liter PowerTech 6 cylinder 498 cubic inch engine. The standard 9510 comes from the factory with a 220 engine horsepower rating. The Side Hill 9510 comes standard from the factory rated at 240 engine horsepower. This combine is fitted with a 140 gallon diesel fuel tank. It features a three speed variable hydrostatic transmission. Its threshing system is based on a 26 inch diameter, 55 inch wide Raspar spike tooth cylinder. It's equipped with four straw walkers that thresh grain in a 9,703 square foot separating area. The combine is fitted with a 204 bushel capacity grain tank that unloads through a 21 foot unloading auger at two bushels per second. A standard 9510 combine weighs in from the factory at 22,910 pounds. The side hill 9510 weighs in from the factory at 27,201 pounds. The side hill and standard 9510 maximizer combines have a price difference. A standard model had a list price of $145,292 when it was new. Customers that ordered the oscillating leveling body on the side hill model would pay $179,269.
I hope that you have enjoyed spending time out in the field hearing and seeing this John Deere Sidehill 9510 Maximizer Combine harvesting soybeans. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video if you have used a side hill combine in your farming operation or tell me about the combine that you use to harvest your crops. If you've enjoyed this video consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional content from the channel continue to watch for a few more seconds for a direct link to more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always thank you for watching.